essay writing for the Progressive Era DBQ essay. Next Monday, we will be starting our World War I unit. Next Monday's live class is mandatory. You have to be there to get your 100 participation points for the week. You do still need to attend two classes, obviously, but one of the classes next week that you must attend is Mondays because we will be launching the World War I unit on Monday. Your essay, your Progressive Era DBQ essay is due Sunday at 6 p.m. Sunday at 6 p.m. You are going to submit your essay by, you submit your essay by attaching it to the day three post. So it's actually very simple to add a document. All you have to do is in the top right corner where you have the option to view your work and submit work, you're gonna click add or create. If you've been typing on a Google Doc, your Google Doc is automatically saved to your Google Drive. So click on Google Drive. At that point, your essay will probably pop up because it's something you've been working on recently. If it does not though, simply type in the title of your essay. You might have called it Progressive Era DBQ Essay. Whatever you, whatever you called it, oops. Whatever you called it, that's what you're going to select. There we go, okay. When you select it, the document will automatically be updated, uploaded to the same post, and then you can click turn in. You must share your essay with me. You must turn in your essay this way. Do not simply share it to me. I will not accept it. So you must turn it in this way. If you're having issues turning in your DBQ essay, attaching it to that day three post, then text me or call me. Do not simply share it and hope that I'm going to accept it because I will not. I need you guys to attach it to this post. All right, that all said, today we're working on conclusions. So at this point, remember it's four body paragraphs. I've given feedback on your outlines. So you should already have some next steps. There's four body paragraphs. You have your intro where you introduce your claim. You've got body one. That's going to be one issue. So let's say for some people that's going to be child labor. Then you've got body two. For some people that might be working conditions. But you've got different topics for each body paragraph. And then finally, you have your conclusion. Your body paragraphs at this point should absolutely be done. Hopefully, you've got at least a start, a draft for your introduction. If you do not, your goal by the end of today needs to be to absolutely complete both body paragraphs, at least, at least. You have until Sunday to absolutely finish, to write the conclusion, and also to edit, but because today is the last day that we will be teaching a part of the essay, I'm going to go over how to create your conclusion today. All of these videos will be posted under the day three post, the video for how to do an intro, how to do a body, how to do a conclusion. So if you need to ever review, oh, what are the different parts of the intro I need? What are the different parts of the conclusion? You can go back to the videos that I'm posting for day three. So right now, so this part of the mini lesson will go over the key elements, what you must have in order to write an exemplary conclusion paragraph. The conclusion paragraph currently displayed on the screen is the same one from your RTL. Make sure that if you have not yet completed your RTL, you pause the video, go back, complete the RTL. Let's look at the three things, the three things this author does to really make their conclusion exemplary. The Progressive Era made a lot of positive changes to protect the people of America and improve working conditions. In this essay, I argue that the Progressive Era reformers completely achieved their goals of protecting consumers and improving working conditions. In that yellow, in that yellow, 
you will notice that the author has restated their claim. One of your key moves, the, one of the key things you have to do in a good conclusion paragraph in an essay where you're making an argument is you need to remind readers early in your conclusion what the claim was. This author did that in the sentence highlighted in yellow. Reformers address the issue of needing to protect consumers by passing the Meat Inspection Act. Individual states improved working conditions by passing laws to protect workers in their state. Pause. The author has now done another really key thing in their example, in their conclusion paragraph that you should also be striving for. Those sentences in green represent a summary. The author has briefly summarized the most important points that they made in the essay. After restating your claim, you want to remind your readers what were the most important, what are the highlights of your essay that you discussed? What are the highlight achievements that progressive era reformers actually accomplished? The changes progressive era reformers made improved the way that people acted and how America was seen. We still have a lot of problems happening today. Maybe one day we will start our own modern progressive era. That sentences, those sentences highlighted in pink represent the high note. A high note is an interesting point or a question that makes us think about how the historical topic still relates to today. This is a key move in a conclusion paragraph that might not be like ELA. If you are writing a historical essay, in your conclusion, you always want to make that connection to some kind of modern day issue. In that last sentence, the author is leaving us thinking about how the progressive era, the, the feelings and the changes that were happening in the progressive era, how it could still apply to today. You wanna bring your essay into the 21st century. Make us think about how the progressive era is still relevant with that high note. These three key moves are what you need to write an exemplary concluding paragraph. Although the concluding paragraph was the topic of today's mini lesson, I would understand if you're not ready to write your concluding paragraph yet. Please make sure that if you want my feedback, you are attaching your essay now to the day three post so that I can give you feedback. Thanks guys.